Today we're going to ask uh, a question that's been on my mind for a long time. It keeps me up at night, if I'm being honest. Uh, what happens when ski lifts go wrong? Are you going to make it away? Ah! <laughs> Let go! Let go! <laughs> so already it looks like a kind of like a bridge simulator-esque style of game. So far so Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's what happens when ski lifts go wrong. Okay, question answered. That's the end of the video. Get one person to the finish line to complete the level. Okay, so this should work now. Down she goes. Up she goes. Oh, no fatalities this time. <laughs> oh, oh, at least there's a bin though for all the bodies. Because if the insurance company finds all these bodies, my premiums are going to go sky high. Oh! Ah, oh, yeah! Crouch, jump! Oh. Oh! <laughs> That's a fatality. Missed the tree, yes. Yeah, got the medal. Oh, but the... Oh! <laughs> Whoa, what? Okay, that's bad. Oh, oh, high tension. High. It's broke. It broke. Ooh, there's a bit of sag there, though. Oh, that's bad. That's a pretty good log, though. That seems like it works. All right, here we go. So now it's out of the tutorials and into the big leagues. Get one rider past the line. Save structures, spend under 3,000 gold, and collect one medal. Easy. So there's the medal. That's the end. That's the start. How was this hard? We're going to put some supports here. And we're also going to have a tower here as well. So that's two towers in position. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Oh, so easy! Ding! We, did, we got all three medals. Wow, nice. Okay. It feels like in a game like this, you always want to go for the maximum points. You see those three medals at the end, and anything less than that feels like defeat. But it's going to get harder. So this is Carrie's Gap. Wow. We get supports and jumps. Okay, let's put a jump in. Boom. Easy. Let's give this a go. Oh, yeah. And luckily enough, Carrie is a snowboarder, which means she is as cool as they come. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that lazy boy slide! I love it, I love it, but we're going to try again because we want that medal. And we're going to bring the anchor down on the other side. There we go, this should do it. Come on, Reggie, nail carries gap. Oh. Now that's not so cool. Okay, this might be okay. Oh, it sounds like something broke. Yeah, that broke! Oh ho ho! Rip. Rip and pep. What if we just focus on making a really sweet jump? Okay, it's held together. So this is going to break the uh, the funds limit for the second medal, but I feel like we got this. Whoosh. Come on. Yeah, and we got the medal. Oh, and we, and we made the cash. Complete the level with the specified budget. Perfect. That works for me. What's going on here? Get one rider past the line. Say structures, spend under two grand, collect one medal. Easy cheese. This is the easiest game of my life. Let's buckle it in and see what happens. So the stress is incredibly high. It's all on this back end. Okay. So even we went over budget and we still lost the game. That ain't good. What if we bring down this wheel a bit? Yeah. 
Yeah, because let's think about it. I mean, this thing doesn't need to be very high. We could probably just put a wheel there. And uh, we'll have to bring this back a bit, but this should work. Yeah, much better. Oh, yeah! Easy. Easiest lift of my life. Okay, so this time we have to use one of those chair lifts that only pulls people along the ground. Okay, that seems fine. We need to use both a lift and these uh, these platforms. Now, is that going to mess them up? We're under budget. Let's see if we can connect these babies up. No. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys are going to have a bad time. Let's watch them fall off, though, because that's funny. That's funny. Whoa! <laughs> Rip. Okay, so how do we make this bridge work and stay under budget? That's the, that's the real question, isn't it? Do we even need something down the bottom side? We could have a... Yeah, I don't think we do, actually. We can have the cable go straight from the bottom to the top if we're smart. So let's try deleting all of these. And putting in a sweet, sweet bridge support. We're still well under budget there with this. Oh, look at it. So under budget. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, she's surviving. She's getting over the bridge somehow. Yeah. Oh, but they're not getting the, uh, not getting the medal. So we're going to bring that wheel up a bit. Looks good to me. Yeah, that should be good. Much more stable. Strong and stable. Go on, get yourself, uh, get yourself a medal, son. Oh, no, the bubble almost touched it. We can just go support crazy here. Because we're well under budget. Is that working? Yeah, there we go. A much stronger bridge. It's much higher, so they should be able to get that medal. And we're well under budget. Oh, genius, genius. Come on, man. More money than sense here. We're just splashing out on these supports. Does this work? Yeah, it seems pretty stable so far. We're going to get this medal. But will this bridge take the weight of a dude? Yeah, that's taking the weight of a dude. Oh, this support's having trouble. But it's only red. It's not broken yet. Come on! Yeah! We did it. Three medals. Well, guys, that is what happens when ski lifts go wrong. But also, conversely, it's what happens when ski lifts go right. This is a real fun game that kind of takes elements of Bridge Simulator, but mixes in some of the weird and qu weird, weird kind of quirks of ski lifts. You have lifts that have to drag people across the ground. You have the skiing sections where you have to jump over a gap. It's nice. It's very different to Bridge Simulator. I'm not sure if it's as fun as getting a car across a bridge. Anyway, thank you for watching. Now, I love checking out indie games, and if you've watched to this point in the video, that means you're a true fan. Props. Respect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to bash subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but also, let me know what you think. If you want to see me play more indie games, smash that like button. Boom. And I don't mean just hit it or click it. I mean smash it. Like, punch your monitor. Punch a hole through it. Make sure you make your like loud and proud, okay? Uh, because if you guys want to see more indie games, I'll definitely play some. And I love checking them out. It's definitely an easy way to spend half an hour to an hour just chilling out, getting getting a new game, trying it out. And indie games are always pretty cheap as well, so it's a good kind of time-wasting uh, time wasting thing. The difference between an indie game, I find, and a AAA title is, if you're going to sit down and play a AAA title, you have to make a really big investment. You have to say to yourself, bam, I'm going to play this game for a long time. This is a big investment. So I need to set aside at least a couple of hours now and a couple of hours here and there just to make some progress. But with an indie game, you can download it, play it, Put an hour in, put two hours in, here and there. There's no demands, and it doesn't feel like a big investment. So let me know if you want to see me play more of these. And until next time, guys, take care.